I'm here at the Cape May County Commons building in Rio Grande, New Jersey, and I notice they have a little problem. This is a great new space. Cool architecture, lighting, landscaping, pavers. This summer, they're gonna have bowling alley and movie theaters and arcades, indoor golf, craft brewery, restaurants, but their southern entrance wall, boring. Where do we start? And that's a pretty big wall. So just like any project, you start with pencil and paper. Brainstorming, sketching. Don't get too excited about the final project. Don't be intimidated by the size of the project. I've done large murals in the past, but this by far was the largest mural I've ever done. The theme of the piece was simply Cape May County. The client didn't have any hard requests, so they just kind of let me take the ball and run with it. So of course, I went with commercial fishing. I wanted to celebrate that aspect of my hometown. Once the sketching process is done and the rough ideas are fleshed out, I bring the design into Procreate on my iPad and work out the final design as well as choosing the mural colors. Finally, I take that design, create a mock-up in Photoshop, and show the client a rough idea of the final product and then wait for their final approval. The second part of the process is planning. All these parts are equally important, but planning is what removes the intimidation of the whole project. What I want to do here is break the project into smaller, more bite-sized steps. What am I going to do every day? What am I going to do every hour? And just focus on that, not the entirety of the project. Now that I've planned the daily goals for each step of the process, it's time to get started. are coming down to the end of week one and it's actually finally starting to look like something. Today I'm going to be painting the boat and this was, I kept kind of putting it off because it was kind of the hardest thing to get right. And so, but I think I got it sketched pretty well. Now let's go up on a lift and paint it. So what we're going to do now is draw in all the rigging and the cables and the hoist and everything on the boat. The way we're going to do that is I'm actually going to tape to kind of get the sag right because it's got a sag over, you know, 20 feet and there's no way I can eyeball that. So I'm going to tape up a piece of rope, thin piece of string so I can get that correct sag and then go in and trace it. So hopefully that works. Never done that before. You ever get the feeling you're being watched? Well, we're coming down to the end of this and my lift just ran out of gas and 
this upper piece this upper layer of water I just do not like the way it turned out so I can't do anything until I get some gas and then I'm gonna have to repaint that whole section so I'm trying to get done today and just put myself about three hours behind I could probably leave it it looks okay but just not happy with it all right fuel just showed up the lift is ready to go got my last roller up the pack go up there and try to roll this out and get it fixed by the end of the day yep. Super stoked how this mural turned out. I'm grateful for the Cape May County Commons for inviting me to be a part of this exciting new project. I want to encourage everyone watching, don't be intimidated of big new projects. Remember, the key is to break it into smaller pieces and I'm sure you'll see success in the end. Thanks again and I'll see you in the next video.